This is huge for the Celtics as we have a great amount of news. Lonnie Walker posted a picture of him in a Celtics uniform as a kid. Kristaps Porzingis is in the gym working once again. And Joe Mazzulla has another fantastic quote that we're going to have to break down for all of you guys. We're going to be discussing all this and more on this episode of Celtics Digest. I'm Bruce Velez. You guys have been absolutely fantastic showing your love and support over on the channel. And our goal is to hit 6,000 subscribers by the start of the season. So if you want to make sure you stay up to date on everything revolving around this team, even this little tidbit of information during the drive parts of the season, hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's dive into the topic at hand. Make sure to grab a snack. And like I discussed in the introduction, we have a mukbang of stories today. And the first one we're going to be diving into is the Lonnie Walker Celtics fan. And that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We saw yesterday Lonnie Walker post on his social media, his Instagram story, a picture of him when he was a child dressed up in his Celtics gear. This is absolutely fantastic. I screen grabbed this picture off of Noah Dalzell on Twitter, but a bunch of Celtics reporters had this picture posted up there. And it just goes to show you how hard Lonnie Walker really wants to work and really be with this Celtics team this season. Like we mentioned in previous videos in yesterday's video as well, Lonnie Walker has finally arrived in Boston and is set to go on his Exhibit 10 day contract with the Boston Celtics. That means he is going to training camp, will compete with a bunch of these other Celtics players for a spot for either the last spot on the team or for a spot on the main Celtics, their G League squad. Other players like Ron Harper Jr. and Tristan Amwara, who you may have seen in the Celtics Summer League, are also on those Exhibit 10 day contracts, and they'll also be with Lonnie Walker competing for those spots. Now, Lonnie Walker has had some NBA experience. He's already, he was a first round draft pick. And he's not a guy that has completely fallen out the NBA yet. So I do believe that when he's on this training camp deal, he is going to show out and he is going to perform for the Celtics people, for the Celtics players and Celtics analyst and I think that he'll ultimately either earn that last spot on the Celtics team or will ultimately get waived and get picked up by another team to go play in the NBA but nonetheless I wish Lonnie Walker the best of luck and I hope that he gets to play in this Celtics screen because a lot of Celtics fans including myself have wanted to see the hustled gritty Lonnie Walker to be a Boston Celtic for a very long time. He fits the mold. He fits the play style. He's a player that will be loved in Boston. And I truly think that this could be a nice little revamp and a little bump for him next season to get a guaranteed deal. Come to Boston, Lonnie. Next, let's dive into the next part here. Just talking about KP, Kristaps Porzingis, once again, back in the gym. And we're going to do be looking at some more screen grabs from Twitter. These ones are from Ian Angelo, the newest Celtics blog writer. Congratulations to Ian. But he screen grabbed these pictures off of Kristaps Porzingis' Instagram story, where Kristaps Porzingis is once again back in the gym and working. Now, we had a previous video where we discussed this and looked at Kristaps Porzingis working out in the gym and had him shooting on one leg. So if you missed that video, go check that one after this one as well. Like I said, Kristaps Porzingis has this had this surgery. He's out four to six months, and a lot of Celtics fans are hoping that he comes back fully healthy. Now, we know he's not going to be back at least until December, possibly even January at this point if the Celtics want to take it extra precautious. But seeing him already in the gym, seeing him already warming up, seeing him already get this practice in is just huge for Celtics fans to feel that boost to feel like we are back we already know we're back we know that Joe Missoula has had some fantastic quotes Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are ready to defend their championship but seeing our star one of our star players who has dealt with injuries all last season and going into this year already warming up already ramping up already looking great just makes me smile and anticipate basketball even more. And Kristaps Porzingis is a different beast with this Celtics team on the court. We saw that in the playoffs. And the two games he really stood out, game one versus Miami, game one versus uh, the Dallas Mavericks in the finals, he completely took over and was a complete game changer. And even though the Celtics can show that they can win without Kristaps Porzingis in the regular season and in the postseason, Having him just puts that icing on the cake and just takes it over the top. 
Can't wait to see Chris Porzingis back. I'm happy to see him working in the gym, and I hope that this steady recovery is going great for him, and I wish nothing but the best for Chris Porzingis in his recovery, getting back to the Celtics team, because when he is here, I hope there are no setbacks for the foreseeable future for this season for KP. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section about Chris Porzingis. And lastly, the last topic we're going to be diving into is Joe Missoula. And he comes firing with another quote. And this one is absolutely fantastic as well. Now, like I mentioned, we've already had some previous videos on all a bunch of these topics. So if you missed those videos, go check it out. But we had one talking about Joe Missoula's quotes already, where John Corrales of Locked On Boston Celtics podcast had Joe Missoula on there. Go check those out. They're absolutely fantastic. But we got another quote coming from the podcast. Where Joe Missoula says the word defend is a very passive aggressive term. You go back to the animal kingdom, some of the strongest animals don't defend, they're aggressive and they attack the most. Talking about his defense on the title this year. And this is just absolutely crazy. Once again, Joe Missoula is coming up with these one very creative quotes to ultimately harness his true person, which I really, really love, but also just. The words, the way that he puts it is just absolutely hilarious. Talking about how he hopes to see the red dot pointed at his face. They better have the target pointed at his face and he better see the red dot is absolutely hilarious. Like he is just ready to go. And I can, he wants me to run through a wall for him. I can't imagine how players like Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Drew Holiday, Peyton Pritchard, all these Celtics players feel when they hear a coach like that say these things to them. When they have a coach believe in them. When they have a coach that wants to do everything for their team. Joe Mazzulla is obviously from Rhode Island. He's a New England native, but he knows what these Celtics fans want. He knows what Celtics culture is, and he wants to bring that back to Boston. And I just absolutely love to see it. This quote is just another one on top of that. I He's just hilarious in what he says. But if we want to look back at the quote, like I said, the word defend is a very passive aggressive term. You go back to the Andaman kingdom. So some of the strongest animals don't defend. They're aggressive and they attack the most. That just proves to me that the Celtics are scared of nobody, and they should be not. They shouldn't be scared of anybody. But they brought everybody back. They're ready to go. They're ready to run it once again, and they're going to be hungry. Game one versus the New York Knicks, where they have no Kristaps Porzingis on ring night. They are going to want to win. Show everybody who the top team in the NBA is. Who cares if they got Mikhail Bridges? Who cares if they signed OG Ananobi? We are still the top team in the East. When they go out and play those Western Conference opponents, when they go and play teams like the Timberwolves or the Thunder or even the Mavericks, teams in the Western Conference that are at the top, young, hungry teams that can definitely match up great against the Boston Celtics team. They're going to have to be aggressive. They're going to have to take it to their throat, especially on the road. And that's what I love to see out of this coach. No BS, straight gunning. We are going to make sure that we are back in the NBA Finals. And there's nothing that is going to stop that. The mentality is already there. The drive is already built within this team. And with bringing everybody back, the culture is still the same. They're only getting better. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are still growing superstars in the league. And the better the role players get as well. Sam Hauser coming off of having his baby. Congratulations to him. That happened a couple days ago as well. Sam Hauser also getting that big time contract extension. I think he's going to be really great. I think this competition between Tillman and Kada and Jordan Walsh for this, you know, big man kind of position with Kristaps being out and with Horford dealing with back-to-backs is going to be fun for competition base and just getting these players better and working on just working to make each other better players for the team. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And I can't wait to see this Celtics team. Like my boy Nick NBA tweeted out, can't wait for Celtics basketball. I can't wait for the NBA. It's a little over a month to go till the NBA is here. I can't wait. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. We had a a big mukbang of news. So let me know what you guys think on Lonnie Walker, Chris Dabbs, Porzingis, Joe Mazzulla. How are you feeling about the Celtics team? Are you as hyped up for the season as I am? I can't wait. Like I said, thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. I'm Bruce Velez. Catch you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. And go Boston Celtics.